all these gunmen, they go around and they end up shooting fucking kids. They end up shooting uh, innocent bystanders. What happened to a good old fashioned political assassination? Am I crazy? I feel like that went out of style with like MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> you know Thomas the reason <laughs> right yeah it was like you know it was like you know or really like the 90s you know like yeah, collect yeah, calls yeah. and then assassinations went out the wayside like after Reagan <laughs> after that one failed no, you know it just kind of ended yeah, and did. people people just went with like little kids and like people minding their own business at a fucking Wendy's yeah and it, it's like and they, you know what's crazy is like these people they do these things because they want to be seen they want to be famous they want to have their name and like and I'm like if you want to do that then why don't you just like go to the Federal Reserve and just empty the clip? That's it. You know, like use your violence for change. Be the Robin Hood of mass yeah. shooters. Yeah. And it, it makes no fucking sense, right? bro. And it's, you know, I, I, I heard this before. <laughs> like, I don't uh, understand I this, it. I, I don't heard get this it. before on the video and the guy was like, okay, you know, if you're planning on doing a Look mass shooting. Look at elementary school. You're if you're me. fucking thinking about, you know, shooting up a place and everything, they was like, go to your family first, shoot them up. And then look at their, you know, their behavior and, you know, their agony. And if you think that that's not enough, try it on yourself first to see if it actually works. Basically, you blow go. your own fucking head off. Yeah. Right. Then then that because it makes no fucking sense. You're shooting up a school. It makes no sense that you're but shooting I'm, up but anything, I, even a doctor's office. I know. But Bro, here, what the fuck? Here's here's my thing, though, is <sighs> what I'm saying is, listen, it's just like, you know, it's almost like boys will be boys. Shooters uh, are going to shoot. Yeah. OK. Shooters are going to shoot. If you're but if you're going to shoot. Shoot in a place that benefits everybody. Everybody. Okay? You know, go to a place, uh, you know, that may or may not uh, have a couple people of the Supreme Court. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, shoot a couple places that may or may not be giving uh, women the decision to procreate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to one of those places of those where places. they're taking people's rights away. Yeah. Go to one of those places where they're yeah. stealing from all of America. Yeah. Go to one of those places where they're putting additives in our foods to make all of us dumb, slow, and will eventually die of cancer or some sort of ailment just because they want to make an extra 20 cents on whatever product they're selling. Go to one of those places. Do not go to a school. And with that being said, I'm drinking oat milk now. There you go. Just saying. There you go. <laughs> don't don't, like, oh, don't shit, shoot up the oat milk yeah, place. We're not saying to really no. kill anybody. We're just no. saying, you know, we're just, you know, you know. We're not saying we're not saying do any of those things. Yeah, yeah, we're just but saying, if you were going like, to, if you were going to, just you know. But don't do it. But don't. But yeah. like, if you were going to, just be thoughtful. But then you don't know do what it. I mean? <laughs> don't do <laughs> it. Don't do it. But like, <laughs> if, but if you're gonna do it, think like WWJD. You know what I mean? Like, what would he do? He he'd take those fishes and loaves and he would multiply them. Okay, oh my God. do what Jesus would do. The wristband and march into the Federal Reserve, <laughs> and uh, you know take care of some business like good old fashioned Robin Hood. And that's crazy. Man. Now you're talking about that whole Roe v. Wade stuff. <laughs> I, you, I just mean no, no. It's, it's, no, it's true. It's true. Because <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. This is all like, satire. This is all yes. comedy. It's a comedy show. Yes. It's a comedy show full of jokesters who aren't talking about anybody. Bullshit. Yeah. Getting crazy. We're it's just bullshit. two bullshitters. It's called false prophets. Yeah. You've seen the thumbnail. Yeah. Heaven and hell, baby. Suck it up. You know, but uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing is I think people who like actually want the rights of actual people are our, our problem is we never get guns. Yeah, man. We never like, you know, it's like people are talking about like another uh, you know, like, oh, all these people are outside of Capitol Hill nonviolently. And I'm like, yeah, that okay, so then we're never gonna get abortion back. You know, like <laughs> yeah. saying, like I've already made that point yeah. already. Like I've lived through enough protests, I've seen enough burning buildings, I've seen enough Not fucking so footage and this, that, the third. And it's just like, yeah, I mean, and then, I mean, you know, unless you got money, yeah, you can lobby somebody. Yeah. Ain't nothing changing, man. Nothing's, nothing's, nothing's changing. Change. I, nothing's listen, changing. I'm already on season four of Ozark yeah. and I'm realizing this is how this world works. Yes. It's just money. Yes. And just a legal under the table type of shit. They're, That's all it is. Dude, they're fucking over white women now. They're they're losing their minds. And that's the thing, too, where I'm like, again, with the whole shooter, uh, you know, yeah. hey, concealed carry you can have these things now i mean like everyone that was at that fucking like you know abortion protest or something every one of those white girls with a uterus hat should have had an ar-15 you know i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying that would have been respected a little bit i'm not saying shoot it i'm not saying shoot it whatsoever exactly. but i'm saying that that lets them know that you are you do mean business 
And I think a lot of those other people across the country who are for all this abortion and, uh, you know, non-abortion and everything, yeah, yeah. pro-life and everything, that would make them respect it a little bit more. Because it's like, number one, like, white women are at the forefront of that whole fucking thing, yeah. even though they're the ones who kind of helped bring it into happening, because half of the white women are for it yeah. and are voting that way, and that's why it goes. But the ones that are against it, you know, they're there. You know, and they have family that are from fucking Arkansas and Alabama and Michigan and all these red state places, right, right, right. you know, and if they see their fucking own kids in a fucking firefight, if they see their own kids in a January 6th yep. level situation, not a black face, not a gay face, a straight blonde haired white woman face, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Getting their fucking head kicked in. They will think. Maybe this isn't the way. You know? <laughs> you're spitting right I'm now. Being, I'm going, being, I'm going, I'm going, going, I, I, yeah, I'm being completely <laughs> serious. It, I think if, if they actually saw some of their own, truly some of their own, right. getting their fucking teeth kicked in, right. like you have to be willing, like we have to be willing to go as far as they want to go. They, yeah. And once they see that passion and that pain happening to another white face, even if it's a white face on the opposite, I think a lot of those conservative white people are going to change the tune. It can't be another black person getting hosed down. It can't be another fucking locked gate of like, you know, bald headed feminist white girls surrounding some like, you know, black people or whatever, right, right, right. whatever. No, it has to be just you. Yeah. You know, like there was a clip of the fucking um, that chick who played Kimmy from Full House no, getting thrown on Kimmy? the ground. Yeah. 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 I, I thought it was um the, the, the second daughter. No. Uh, yeah, it was her. Are you sure? Um, Steph no, Stephanie. Stephanie? I have no fucking idea. Yeah, I never watched that fucking yeah. show. But Everywhere. either way, either way, they threw <laughs> they threw Mary Kate Ashley on the ground. No, they 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 yo, they fucking tossed her hard, man. But that's the thing. That's, that's what crazy. you need to see. That, you need to see that shit. She she's doing. She is. She's, doing she's the, the white female Malcolm X. All right. <laughs> okay. Supposedly, like this is her first thing. She, it's not her first thing. It's not. She's about that life. Yeah. You need you need white women Bing that bong. are about that life. Stop staying behind fucking black women and all yeah. that shit. Oh no, gosh. because the change isn't going to happen with them. If, if we're being yeah. truly honest, any it's woman true. of color is expendable. Yeah, it is. Any woman of color is expendable. The only ones that aren't are you, because the secret reason that they're getting rid of abortion is because they think that the white population will decline. Yeah. So if they have to kill white women to increase more white people, that's a nullifying act and they don't want to have to do that. Yeah. So. You know, go for it. Normally, kill a few, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep. I feel like I just had to say this. Yeah.